This one's for all the doctors out there. No, I won't be afraid. No, I won't be afraid. Just as long as you stand. Stand by me. And darling, darling, stand. I get caught up in these things. That's a video from Special Olympics Florida. Athletes from all over the state lifting our souls while honoring healthcare workers and first responders fighting COVID-19. When the night has come and the land is dark. The I said, um, stand by me. Like, here, stand by me. I will teach you. Abigail Adams has been competing in Special Olympics for more than a decade in gymnastics, cheer, and is even training for a triathlon. Not exactly easy, though, when everyone is stuck at home. I run, we laps, and I, I do, like, bicycling three miles. All Special Olympics practices and competitions have been shut down at least through the end of May. But Special Olympics Florida CEO Sherry Wheelock says they're hopeful they can start back up sometime in June. We're working, connecting with the uh, Department of Health and many other individual um, you know, that are leading us through this, this unfortunate pandemic. So we'll, we'll work together as, as a group to come up with the best um, avenue for our athletes to get back on the playing field. How difficult is it for you to not get to practice and compete with your teammates and your friends and your coaches? I think I, I, I truly miss them. And I know I love them, but um, I love their, I love my coaches, and they mean so much to us. Abigail says she has talked with some of her friends virtually. The Special Olympics also launched the Fit5 Challenge, a program aiming to keep people mentally and physically healthy, complete with workout videos and nutrition guides. Right now, I'm on an egg and free and dairy free diet so that tracks my nutrition in my body. Well, I need all the help I can get, so thank you for all of that. You're really so appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll stand now. Stand by me. Stand by me. To all the doctors, nurses, and first responders, thank you for keeping us safe. You are. All our champions. Thank you. And so the Special Olympics is doing their part, nurturing our minds, bodies, and souls. And until they can compete again, helping to keep Central Florida strong.